In this video, we're going to build a small image search application utilizing a public e-commerce product dataset. The application allows you to type in a query describing a product and will then perform semantic search to find images that match the query. While building this, we're going to cover how you download datasets from Hugging Face, how you use the OpenAI clip model that is used to create embeddings, and how semantic search is performed with the Sentence Transformer library. The use case for this application is improving product discovery for e-commerce. Many companies are now embarking on a journey to optimize product discovery, a problem that revolves around capturing purchase intent. In order to optimize product discovery, semantic search is needed, and images play an important role in discovering customer intent. We're not going to use any database in this video, and the code can be executed entirely from a Colab notebook. We import the image data in the notebook, and I'll be sharing the notebook below the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to follow along as we uncover how vector data and language models are being used to create real value for businesses. And now let's jump right into building the image search application. All right, so the data set we're going to be using is the fashion product image data set that's available on Kaggle. It comes in two sizes, a big data set and a small one. We're gonna be using the small one, but we're gonna download it from Hugging Face. And here's the data set repo on Hugging Face with the data set card. We're going to be downloading this dataset directly into a notebook using the load dataset function in the datasets Python library. And the main reason I didn't download this from Kaggle is because the datasets library allows us to efficiently manipulate this data in a notebook. You'll see this in a bit. And the reason for this is that the datasets library uses Apache Arrow under the hood. That means that the entire dataset is not loaded into the memory but memory mapped so that you'll still be able to do fast lookups, even though data is stored on the disk. So to do the vector similarity search, we need embeddings. And to do that, we'll use the OpenAI clip model or the sentence transformer wrapper around the OpenAI clip model. And this allows you to map text and images to a shared vector space. So you can do cosine similarity between a text embedding and an image embedding. So let's get started building the image search application. We're going to import the Python image library and the load dataset function from datasets. And then we're going to import sentence transformer and util from the sentence transformers library. Then we're going to load the dataset from the dataset repo using the load dataset function. We'll just call the dataset fashion and we'll have a look at the dataset. And these are product images. It contains an ID, a gender, category, a few more columns, and of course, an image. So we can fetch the individual elements of the dataset, just like we do with Python lists. And we can extract the individual features from each element by writing fashion.features. So I'm going to separate the images from the metadata about the images, and then I'm going to put the metadata into a pandas data frame. And we can fetch the images and see what they look like right here in the notebook. And let's have a look at the data frame with the metadata. And as mentioned, the metadata contains information about the individual product, such as the gender, the category of the product, the usage, the description of the product, and so on. And all of this metadata is, of course, important if you're building a real production-ready e-commerce search engine. So let's load the model we're going to be using to create the embeddings. And we're using the sentence transformer wrapper around the OpenAI clip model. And the first thing we can try to do is to embed a product description, which is the product display name, a product image, and of course, a query. And because we're mapping text and images to vectors in a shared vector space, we can do cosine similarity between image embeddings and text embeddings. And of course, we can also measure the distance between the image and the query which is what we're gonna be doing when we write the search function. To write the search function, we're going to use semantic search, which is built into the sentence transformer library. And the syntax for this is very simple. First, I'm going to embed all the images that we extracted with the datasets library. And this is going to take a little while depending on what machine you're on. But once we have a list of image embeddings doing a semantic search using the util part of the sentence transformer library, it's very simple. We just use the query embedding, the list of image embeddings, and specify how many elements you want the function to return. 
And with this in place, we can formulate a function that allows us to write a query and then return images. And the function is going to take a query string as input, it's going to embed the query string, and then it's going to do the semantic search I just showed you how to do. And once we have the corpus ID, we can use that to extract the image. And here we have an image search for blue jeans. That actually works. And we can do the same thing for white sneakers. And here we have a selection of 10 white sneakers. So utilizing the libraries on Hugging Face, we can, with very little code, build some pretty sophisticated stuff. All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.